So, gentlemen, we're closing in on the biggest deal ever signed by a UK company. If I might say so myself, it's a triple whammy Asperger with extra cheese, bacon, and you can come back for another if you keep the voucher. All that remains is the site visit this afternoon from Kanagawa-san. And I know he wants to say a few words about that. Kanagawa-san? Thank you, Power-san. We to look forward to biggest Rasburger deal signed by Japanese company. But please understand, for us, site visit is a not melee chance for us to check in trouser pocket. <laughs> Very good. Trouser pocket. <laughs> no, we can only sign contract if we are happy with visit. We in Japan believe many things important than business. Financial property, capital investment. But above all, we believe that everything must be clean and tidy. No school, no school. I'm not going to school today. No school, no school. I'm not going to school today. Season ticket. No school. Season ticket. No school. Maria, will you get up? I'm not going to school today. Where is it? No school. Hello? Brian, not in your mouth. Feeble, where were you? Oh, uh, sorry, Peepee. -pee. I, I, I was well, um, I'm... Claire, will you be quiet? Um, sorry, Peepee. -pee. You, you see, the, the thing is... Not interested, Feeble. The Japanese are coming round at five o'clock, and I want every office cleaner than a nun's sex life. Um, yes, right, Peepee. -pee. Hmm, Peepee. -pee. Absolutely, Peepee. -pee. I, I, yes, no. Yeah, no, no, I do appreciate how important this is. You'd better. When we get to your office, I don't want to see so much as a gnat out of place. Cos if there is, you'll be out of here faster than a curry Asperger leaving a cheetah's rectum. So get here now! Daddy, can we go to the fun fair today? No, you can't. Where is it? But Maria told me we'd go today. Yes, well, Maria told me she was an au pair. I useless! Get a move on! Brian! That's got to go back to the shop. <coughs> oh, that's horrible. Now, what am I going to say when I return it? It's fine, but the whole film now happens underwater. I wonder what it's like to be early for something. <laughs> Eric, calm down. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. Doc, be honest with me. Rats, not good. Well, rabies, bubonic plague, hepatitis B, virus disease, dysentery aside, they're a complete and utter nightmare. But some people keep them as pets, don't they? You got one from the pet shop? No. The bathroom. Hmm. Well, look, I don't want to alarm you, mate, but can I give you a bit of advice? Oh, don't tell me. Relax. No. Panic. So, what I thought would be lovely, darling, is if you and Maria went out for the day. But, Daddy, you said we couldn't go out today. I know. And you said we couldn't go out with Maria. I know. And you said we... Just get in the car! <laughs> just take them anywhere. It doesn't matter where, but just don't come back till this evening. I go slim now, eh? See? Eyes! Describe it. Uh, averagely good looking? It, it's a rat! Morning, Mr. Eric. Just off to the post. Uh, jolly good. Well, I don't know, do I? You're the professionals. Um, large and rat like. How about that? So, so when will he be here? Could you narrow it down any less? Right, 11 o'clock. Thank you.
Come on, come on. Uh, hi, I, I seem to have lost my season ticket. I don't suppose it's been handed in at all. Right, sir. Hold on, I'll have a look. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> maybe? No. There, that one. Yes, that's mine. Hold your horses, sir. I'll need to see some ID. But look, the picture. That's me. I've only got your word for that. But it's me! You can see that! Sorry, sir, but I will need to see some ID. My passport will do. Why would I have my passport on me? I'm going to work. All right, uh, could be something else, sir. Like a birth certificate. Do you carry a birth certificate around? No, but then I haven't lost my season ticket. Liz, it's me. Do it, do Liz, I need your help. Do it, do Liz, stop making that noise. Don't shout at me, Eric. I'm talking to you in the guise of my spirit animal. Ooh. Liz! I'm not Liz. I'm Tawny the Owl. OK, Tawny, there's a man coming round at 11. I can't really leave the office and I need someone to be there to let him in. Well, how long is it going to take? I start nesting at midday. Can't he come this evening? We've got a rat. He's not going to kill it. No, Liz, he's going to make it up a bed in the spare room. Of course he's going to kill it. Murder it? Butcher it? Eric, rats are people too. So, that's a no then, is it? Oh, do it, do it. Well, I hope you get eaten by a fox. Calm down, Eric, it'll be fine. The Japanese aren't coming till five. You don't have to be home till 11. And how long does it take to tidy an office? So he says, we're not going skiing. I said, we are going skiing. You said we was going skiing. He said, I never said nothing about skiing. And I said, well, I'm not going to Spain again. I can't stand Spain. I hate Spain. And he said, well, I hate skiing. And I said, well, I hate you. Alison! What? I think we need to tidy up. I'll go on my own with Angela on my own. And he said, well, you won't be on your own if you're Angela. So I said, you shut your mouth, Dean Tottle. And he said, all right, all right. Keep your hair on. And I said, don't you try and be clever with me. It doesn't suit you. Do you know what I mean? Because he said he knew what I meant. And then he said, I don't know what you mean, but I knew he did. Alison! Oi! I was busy! Listen, Alison, I've got something very urgent to do at home. The Japanese are going to be here at five, so while I'm gone, will you please tidy the office, OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alison! What? I mean it! Tidy! All right! Now! I know. So he says, go on your own evangelist, see if I can. <laughs> I'm doing it. He says, I don't want to go on holiday with you anyway. And I said, suits me fine, Dean Tottle, and I packed him in. Don't worry, it's just a rat. It doesn't necessarily follow that it's carrying a hundred diseases. Maybe it's one of the cleaner ones. Well, th there must be cleaner ones. There must be some who want out of the whole sewer filth disease lifestyle. Morning, Mr. Eric. Still off to the post? Oh, jolly good. And besides, if it is a hard-line, stick-in-the-mud traditionalist rat, it'll have moved on to somewhere much worse by now. I do hope that wasn't a rat. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a rat. <laughs> I'd be most perturbed if it were. Oh, well, perturb not. You, you see, that's just, um, well, well, that's Claire and Brian's gerbil. Gerby. The gerbil. Well, perhaps you'd better rescue him and take him inside. Yes. Right. Here, Jerby. Here, boy. No. Please go 
away. Please go away. <laughs> there. Perhaps you'd better pop him back in his cage before he escapes again. Yes. Drama over. It didn't break the skin. You weren't bitten, and he did feel quite clean when you were stroking him. Ah, you stroked a rat! <laughs> just, just calm down, Eric. Take a very, very deep breath in. And a very, very deep breath out. It's fine. Everything's under. Control. <sighs> yes, he's 45 minutes late, so he'll definitely be here in a quarter of an hour. You sure? Okay. You said 15 minutes last time. I can't hang around all day. So he's literally outside the house now. How can he have been outside the house half an hour ago? He still hasn't knocked on the door. Oh, at last. Thank goodness you're here. There's dozens of them up there. They all came pouring out of the loo earlier. They're great big, huge things. Tails, furry bits, teeth like paving stones. Anyway, you're here now, so I'll just leave you to it. Cup of tea. Oh, because at the end of the day, those figure skaters are proper women. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I got a proper woman's shape. Um, you put that Kathy Moss on the ice. <clears throat> and I, and a lot of people like me, um, will be physically sick. Uh, well, she ain't a proper woman. Um, She's a twiglet. Um, <clears throat> and who wants a twiglet um, in a world uh, figure skating championships? Uh, Bob, look at the time. Oh, blimey, I had no idea it was so late. Oh, excuse me. No wonder I was so hungry. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a cup of tea with this. Of course, the funny thing is, <clears throat> these models put themselves through all that no chocolate and lots of rhubarb stuff. But at the end of the day, you ask any man to choose between Normie Campbell and the driver of the German female bobsleigh team, and I bet it'll be Heidi Fackenbacker every time. Look! Rats! Rats! Right, well, <laughs> can't stop here chatting to you all day. Thank you. I've got to finish my dinner. Alison? Yeah? It's me. So? How's the tidying going? All right. Look, I've just had a thought. We can put the most recent files into the filing cabinet, save all the current contracts and anything to do with the field management review. Then you can take the closed file down to the dark. Don't be dreaming. If you do be saying, you're going to say it's hell. It doesn't like being loaded with stuff, but tell him that it's for me, and I say it's urgent, and that he should find some room for at least the last two financial years. As for the rest of the stuff, phone supplies, and see if they can let us have another filing cabinet, even if it's only temporary. Ask them to lend us one just until tomorrow. We can probably manage with just one four-drawer cabinet. If there's a problem, then try some of the other offices. Sales have got loads of cupboards, and I'm sure they don't use half of it, so try and beg a bit of space off them. Again, it doesn't have to be permanent, just as long as we can store some papers and things in there until after the Japanese have gone, then we can worry about finding a permanent home for it. But do tell them how important it is. They'll know about the Japanese visit, and they'll know it's urgent. And if they can't manage it, ask in marketing, ask in accounts, and ask in credit control. Also, and this is vital, when you're moving things into whichever office it is, make sure... <laughs> No school, no school, we no go to school today. No school, no school, we no go to school today. The dodgery cars, the dodgery cars, let's go with the dodgery cars. You got it. <laughs> Room, but they should
could go in there, and those had to be kept hand because I'm going to need them on Monday. Now, have you got that? Yeah. <gasps> you haven't started! Well, I've just eaten. You can't run around after you've eaten. You end up with heartburn. Look, I've got to get back to the office. Please, do something now. All right, all right. <clears throat> Hello? I'll be right round. What are you doing? I've got an emergency. So what do you call this, then? Look, look, the floor's moving! I know. I reckon you want to get someone round. No school, no school. We're not going to school today. Have you been drinking, madam? Yes, since I was 12. If you'd care to blow into this... Right. I must ask you to accompany me to the station. OK. But I take my own car, see? Hey, come back! All that aggro for a man with a cricket bat. Well, I've got a cricket bat. Right, you're first! Supremacist! Eric, I can't allow you to harm another soul. I can't allow you to destroy one of Gaia's beautiful creatures. Ah! It bit me! Stamp on it, Caleb! Stamp on it! Eric, do something! <laughs> what? Feeble! P.P., are you tidy yet? Oh, <laughs> nearly. Good, because the Japanese have brought it forward now. They'll be here at four o'clock.
okay. So you've got no keys, no money, no clothes, you're filthy, you smell like a tramp convention, and in 20 minutes you'll be meeting the cleanest man in Japan. See? There's no reason to panic. <laughs> Hop in, mate. What happened to you? You look like you fell into a sewer. Oh, Doc, it's been a nightmare. In ten minutes, I'm meeting some Japanese hygiene nut. And look at me. I look like Mr. Incontinence. Eric, relax. There's always a solution. So, all that's left is our little shufti down the corridor. Clean and tidy. Yes. Let's hope so. This is our top man, Ray Perfect. Konnichiwa! Go for it, big man. Hajimamashite! Watashi wa renan nihon ni keremas! Senshu Osaka to Kyoto no shisha ni ikimas! Japanese! Very good! Office! Cleaner tidy! Very, very good! I love you, champ. Now stay, 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 boy. You stupid animal! Konnichiwa. Clean and tidy. God. Just get it out. Just get it out. Out you go, gone. Um, excuse me. I think you might have dropped something. No! Konchiwag. Yes, clean and tidy. Putty. Problem. Tidy in it. And this is data. Alright, mate. Feeble, you're the luckiest man in the world. 